So watch, watch a couple cool things about the extrude tool, okay? Ready? Watch this. Add mesh cube, right? All right, there it is. I'm going to take this move tool. I'm going to move it down here. All right, check it out. Please look. Okay, so if I go under the hood, remember, object, edit. Object, edit, or tab. Okay, let's just go to press 1 goes vertices, 2 goes edges, 3 goes uh, faces. So 1, vertices, right? In this app, you have to be super careful. If, you want, if you're in this view and you're selecting stuff like this, guys, sometimes it doesn't pick up the back, okay? Doesn't, so look what I did. See how it didn't pick up that one? That vertex, do you guys see that? So in this app, you have to be in this mode here. This here is my x-ray vision. I'm Superman. I wish I was. See, now if I'm in x-ray mode, I can actually, which is this one. So there's a difference between x-ray and wireframe. So this is x-ray, this is wireframe. Okay, wireframe's cool. I usually put both on, so I never mistake myself. Look, so if I click out here, boom, select it. If I was in uh, wireframe only, watch. Eh, didn't do it. You got to be in X-ray mode, friends. You have to be in X-ray mode. Okay, so let's get out of that. Go back to uh, uh, grayscale here. Um, just shaded, I mean. Watch this. If I go to edge, look, if I select my edge, <whistles> like that, right? Up, down, beautiful. See how nice that is? Okay, I can come out here. Okay, so now... Look at all this beautiful stuff down here that just came up because I'm in edit mode, right? Now, you guys know insert edge loop was in Maya, right? This is called loop cut. Click once. Look how that, it's just like Maya, perpendicular. Whatever perpendicular edge, that's the cut. If I click once, watch the menu down here. Boom. Oh, how many cuts do you want? Oh, I want maybe three. Don't get out of hand with your cuts, okay? Watch that. Done. Once you're finished cutting, get out. Come back to move. Then go to face, for example. Click on face and go, hey, man, I want to extrude, Mr. Ballion. Okay, extrude. And then I can move it on the side like this. I could go to edge, select the edge, bring the edge down. Oh, wait, I can move my edge forward on the X. Look at that. See what I'm doing? I'm making something cool here. I'm looking at this edge. I want that to go forward nice and easy. Okay, see that? All right. So let's say this is some kind of recliner chaise long or something, right? Watch. I'm going to bring this out, down. I'm going to make this into some, uh, I'm going to go into a face mode here. Select that face and move it out. Okay, so this is going to be my new design, Mr. Bellion, for me to make a chaise long, which is a recliner, chaise is chair, and long, I don't know how they brought chaise and long, two, two languages together, but it was done. So let's imagine this is a beach chair, right? I'm going to tab out. Watch this. So you got this, right? Look at that. Okay. So there. If you want people to sit on this and recline, you're going, oh, the, the, you know what? I, I don't like the way this is reclined. I need it to recline further back. No problem. I'll grab the edge. Click here. I'll recline back more. See? You guys see that? All right. So if I want to go and extrude here, watch this. Select these two faces by holding shift. Anytime you hold shift in this app, it adds. Okay, adds and takes away. Look, shift, shift, shift. Oh, I should have popped. Oh, man, you know what's cool in this app? I'm going to download um, um, a screencast. Anyway, extrude. Watch this now. If I hit E for extrude, look what it does. See what it did? It extruded, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold shift just for a second. Shift, left click, shift, left click, middle scroll, shift, left click, shift, left click. So let's pretend this is my um, uh, whatever, the, the, the foam uh, padded stuff, right, that you sit on. So here, I'm going to go extrude along normals. The third one is your friend, guys. The third one here is your friend. Watch this. Inwards? Nope. I want to go outwards. Nice, dude. Outwards it is. Okay. So now I have something here. Isn't that nice? I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to let you play around, okay? Look at this bevel tool here next. Watch this. I'm going to go to edges. I'm going to get out of the extrude tool. I'm going to select this edge. I'm going to hold shift. One, two, shift, left click, shift, left click, shift, left click. Beveling. I hope you guys know what beveling is. Okay, so here it is. Bevel, right? Watch this. Look at that. 
Once I let go, watch the bottom left. Watch the bottom left. Oh, how many do you want? Oh, maybe three or two. Thank you very much. I'll do this side now. Hold shift, left click, left click, spin around by holding middle scroll. And by the way, if I hit period, it zooms in, eh? Isn't that sweet? Okay, anyway, shift, left click. Uh, it's like Maya framing. Okay, there it is. So now I'm going to go to bevel again. I don't want both sides to be even, Steven. So I'll just do my own version here. Look around, go up. Ah, you know what? I'll do three here. I don't know, just for the hell of it. Hell of it, hell of it, all good. Look how nice that is, right? Then I'll go to face. Watch this. I'll go to face. I'm going to get out of this tool or else it wants to use. Look, I'm going to bring this out a bit. I'm going to click here, shift, shift, left click. Look, I'm going to push it out just a bit out like that. Nice. I'm going to come over here, boom, boom, and out. See that? Okay, this is cool, right? So bevel, extrude, those two are your friends, okay? There's inset, all that other stuff too. So how long was this one? Okay, six minutes, beautiful. So, okay, I'll stop recording. I'll take some questions.